Hey farm hands, Farmer Reef here. Welcome back to the lab. So in this episode of the lab, we're going to talk about coral dipping and why it's so beneficial to do so. Well, corals, they come from all around the world. They're on all different kinds of wholesalers, tanks, and you never know what they're going to come in contact with. That means different kinds of pests. And all the pests can be very uh, dangerous for your tanks. They can eat your corals, they can eat your fish. Depends on what you have. Um, you can get like acupora eating spiders, um, zoantha eating spiders, uh, flatworms. All different kinds of things you don't want to get in your tank, like <clears throat> like monopore eating uh, nubrantia. They just eat, eat the flesh right off your corals. So that's why you always make sure that you want to dip so you don't have that problem. Sometimes when you get different uh, ones in there as well, like pyramid snails that attack and feed on the mantle of, the, of your clams. And they're very, very uh, difficult to eradicate. You just keep multiplying, having eggs, they're clear, you can't see them. So that's why you coral dip. And the coral dip choice that I like to use is the Polyp Lab uh, Reef Primer. This stuff works great. It's very gentle on your corals. And it's amazing when you place it in there, you can see the different pests come right off the corals. So I'm just going to read a little information about this for you here. So this dip, everything that it'll work on, it'll eat, work on uh, zoantha eating uh, nubrantia, monopore eating nubrantia, acropore eating flatworms, uh, bristle worms, uh, zoantha eating spiders, um, red flatworms, all these different kinds of uh, pests it's going to work on. Plus, it'll work on uh, rapid tissue neurosis and slow tissue neurosis. That's when uh, the coral becomes infected and this will uh, help uh, take out that disease. So I'm going to show you how this, how this is going to work. We're going to put a few capsules in uh, some uh, water that they came in. You guys can see right here, I got a bunch of corals, guys. Um, these ones here, I end up getting them from uh, Dmitry Tumanov. You guys see my other videos. Uh, I went to Toronto, I filmed this tank. It's beautiful, like full-blown SPS Acapora corals in there. Very, very bright colors. But he was nice enough, I got uh, a bunch of frags out of his tank that I'm gonna place into uh, Asgard here. I'll bring you guys in close, you guys can check out all these corals before we put them in the dip. So here's the first uh, set of uh, frags I got from uh, Dimitri, as you guys can see. So the first one here, um, I got two red dragons. See the left one's a very large red dragon and then a smaller little frag. And then the one right beside it, you guys can see right there, that's called an orange uh, Senotus. They're a very nice coral. As um, so we move on to the next one here, this set here, I have uh, two uh, Sunset Millies, a very large one, that long one, and a small one as well. They're really nice. Uh, they're, and this one, the smaller one right here, this one, that is a Strawberry Shortcake. And then in here, we got one blue cloud. I'm not quite sure what the other two are. but So these are the frags that we're going to dip today, guys. And then what we're going to do is we're going to end up putting them in the tank. And then we're going to mount them with a D&D uh, Aquascape Construction Putty. I've used this all the time on my 220, all my corals. It's so much easier to, to mount them onto the rock work. And so this is the, the reef primer we're going to use today, as you guys can see. And it has all the instructions on the back as well. All right, guys, so let's, let's coral dip these. So we're going to take our, our reef primer. We're going to add two cat bowls. So one, two, just like that. Now we're just gonna take, just gonna take a spoon. I'm gonna mix that up until it dissolves. You don't directly uh, add it while the corals are in there. So you always use, always dip before you put your corals in there, guys. Trust me, you get. Any of those kind of pests in there, and they just keep multiplying, multiplying, and then they start eating your corals, or eating your fish, or different crabs and stuff like that. So this this is going to end up you know clean up any uh, zoanthid eating nebrantia, monopore eating nebrantia, acropora eating flatworms, bristle worms, zoanthid eating spiders, red flatworms, hair algae, rapid tissue neurosis, slow tissue neurosis, or any bacterial uh, infections. It does a lot of stuff. All right, so there we go. So it's all dissolved. So we can start adding all our uh, corals. Very easy system. So you want to at least go just as like five minutes. Leave them dip for about five minutes.
There we go. So we got all our frags. We got from Dimitri in there. And hopefully we'll see some, if there's any pests at all, they'll fall off. So just keep stirring it. So let's take a look and see if we got here. I'll bring you guys in close. Let's zoom in a bit. So you guys can see here, these little pest starfish right here. I, I really hate those things. Um, you, some you guys, you know, if you wake up in the morning, you see them on your glass. Uh, a lot of them, there's there is good ones and there's bad ones. Some they like to eat uh, zoanthids. You can catch them eating your zoanthids, and sometimes you notice they're missing like a leg. Every time you see a leg that's segmented from it, means it's starting a new one. So they just keep spreading and spreading into your tank. So that's a good score that uh, the primer got those off. You guys see them right there? So the corals are looking good. So it's just almost been about five minutes. So as soon as you're done, you can directly place them into the tank. So uh, let's get these out, and then we're gonna start uh, adding them to the tank. We'll end up using uh, the D&D uh, Aquascape putty and a little bit of glue. One other thing too, before I forget, what I usually like to do is like, let's take uh, the, the Sunset Millie, right here. Uh, what I like to do is uh, take uh, my coral screwdriver, I call it, and I just like to go around the base, around the base of them, and just and, you know, just inspect. And sometimes there's little pivot holes. You want to make sure that there's no different uh, pests and like eggs or anything on the bottom. I'm I'm very particular. I hate having any kind of pests on my tank, so I always take the time and really like double check everything. Just take your uh, anything that's sharp and just you know clean the bottom of it and I'm snapping that plug off anyway before we mount it. So it's looking good. So let's go ahead. Let's get that start mounting them. So uh, with the putty, what's good about this stuff? It's a it's a two-part system. You open it up. Comes with the instructions like this. So you have a blue, and then you have a red. So what you take off about, say, about an inch of each part, just like that. And you take another inch of that one, and then all you're going to do is you're just going to mold them together until it becomes that nice coralline algae color. You guys can see. Just like that, until it's get that nice, consistent coralline algae. And then you're just gonna wrap this right around the plug. So let's go ahead and start mounting up all these corals. So let's start mounting all the corals. So we just molded our piece together. So it looks like nice coralline algae color. So a lot of these corals, I wanna like, I have that whole top of the area up on top of this Margot's rock. Um, like the dragon there, I'm gonna breath, I'm gonna keep it near the back because it likes to grow really high so that's where I'm gonna keep it and then the rest of them like the millies and stuff I'm gonna keep out more near the front give them enough area to grow and then crust it's gonna be great guys so let's go ahead let's start mounting up all these corals all right so I got all the frags all mounted up they end up they look really great I end up just using the DD aquascape putty the stuff works awesome just mold it around into the crevice it's perfect everything holds really well and so I'll just add a little bit of glue around uh, the end of the plug and just mold it right in it works perfectly so I'll bring you guys up close, you guys can check these out. Can't wait for them to take off, like uh, Dimitri's tank. All these uh, corals are from him that he fragged out. And thanks a lot, Dimitri, I really appreciate that. I'll send a link so you guys can check out his tank where all these corals came from. And if you want, you can check out uh, his website, aquaticlog.com. And uh, you guys can put your tanks on there as well. His tank is on there if you want to see all his parameters, everything. So let's come on in, I want to show you guys. And the other thing I want to show you before, just after we use the reef primer, you guys see I got those, uh, those pesty uh, starfish. We got five here. And if these would have got into my tank, they segment the, off their little legs, and then that one becomes another starfish. They're a real pain to have, and some of them like to eat, all, eat the exoanthids and stuff. Definitely, I don't like them at all, and uh, I don't want them in my tank. So this stuff, Reef Primer, we're awesome. So let's come in, let's check out all these corals. All right, so let's go check out the corals. It's a little foggy right now for me messing around and turning all the pumps back on. So you guys can see here, uh, so there's that Sunset Millie. A little bit of Dragon's Breath in the back. We got some uh, strawberry shortcake right there, very nice. And there's a little piece of strawberry shortcake in the back there. And some dragon's breath in the back. So we got a whole bunch of frags, it's looking great. So we're gonna be able to watch the progress, the growth of these corals. Let's uh... So thanks for tuning in this week of the lab. So we got to learn a little bit about the reef primer, how well it works, and make sure you always coral dip the corals before putting them in your display tank. You don't want to have a problem. So please subscribe and hit the like button.